How a war without bullets created our internet. In the 1960s, the United States feared a Soviet nuclear strike could wipe out cities and along with them, all communication lines. If one city was hit, how would the military relay commands? How would systems survive? To fix this, the US Defense Department funded ARPANET, a decentralized network where data could route itself through different paths, even if parts of it were destroyed. It was military-grade communication for a post-apocalyptic scenario. But ARPANET didn't stay secret. Scientists and universities joined in. Then came email. Then came protocols to share files. And soon, what started as a Cold War weapon became the foundation of the Internet. So the next time you open your browser, remember. You're surfing a system that was built not for fun, but for survival in a world on the brink of war.